All right, y'all. So the video starts off with some unfamiliar faces in Abbott Elementary and everybody is taken aback by who is now a student or what type of family is now being um, uh, put into into this school and come to find out it is because of the fact that they're um, building a golf course and um, as you can guess from some of the com conversation going on that there is some gentrification happening in West Philly according to Miss Janine. Um, and we also uh, get, you know, the quirkiness of Principal Ava, um, like the no holds barred um, Melissa, we get um, the, the granny auntie vibes from Barb and um, the quirkiness also from Mr. Jacob or Mr. C as the kids call him at the elementary school and we um, kind of get a update of things that's been going on in everybody's life um, as well as a um, peek into said relationship with Mr. Greg and Janine and at first I was just like what is happening while she was talking and um come to find out you know they they've been dating and according to them nobody really uh nobody knows whole time everybody's like yeah 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 we do we we've been new like and to the point to where even kids were questioning if they were dating or not and i was kind of like oh man what's gonna happen with them like throughout this um first episode or whatever because there was some things going on with them where one wanted um to be out and about with it make it official and the other one did not and um but they just didn't want people in their business which is is understood especially when you're working together but because of that um they had a school you know beginning of the year meeting where they bring their goals and all of this stuff in and um Ava brought in somebody from the HR which they didn't ever think that they was going to show up because they never did come to find out the HR representative that came was Warren and if you all remember Warren um, from last season he worked at the district and he was real catty with Janine didn't really like her like that and was like basically ticked off at the fact that she decided to like ditch the district and go back to working in the classroom which she, he never let her forget throughout the entire episode yesterday and um still very catty very messy smart aleck um but yet and still hilarious um so like i said they were all you know just getting getting back to the swing of things of school they were complaining um uh, about the golf course being built and it messed up the water they were you know trying to figure out like how they could get the the golf course and the gentrification from stopping um so you know melissa devised this plan and she found out some things about them barb uh was just you know she she wanted um to uh work along alongside melissa for the simple fact that um their classroom or some something happened with the water that uh they weren't able to you know wash their hands they weren't able to like you know do what they needed to do for sanitation reasons and cleaning reasons because of whatever was going on there so you know they always team up and try to get some things going as well as uh our favorite custodian he was just in rare form he seems more like um cantankerous more uh nasty like some of the facial expressions that they were giving each other through this episode had me rolling like it was so freaking funny y'all i was just like oh my gosh i have missed the show so much and it's even crazier how fast time has gone because it's already october it's already time for a new season but i am just so happy because i i wish they would have actually made the show into an hour um because i think everybody will still be watching because it's really that good the writing the jokes the characters the the community i just love this show so much um
so yeah they it, throughout this entire episode you kind of just get a feel of like basically what's been going on since we last left off in last season with janine's house party and greg coming back and them kissing and you see that they really are um, as jacob said falling in like with each other they really 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 are hitting it off and i could tell with janine um that she was a little scared um throughout um this episode or relationship however you want to call it uh because um greg was wanting to um make the relationship more out make it official janine was more hesitant and i was like now come on janine don't go uh messing up after all of these years and now all of a sudden you get them and now you don't want to claim them so it was just like i was like lord i hope she don't sabotage this relationship which we see at the end of the at the of the episode that um she basically told him you know i really really like you which i i knew that we all know that they like each other a lot but that she uh she just didn't want anything to to mess up she didn't want to be disappointed because she really really wants them to work out so it was so so sweet especially how he reassured her um and then they just decided to say you know what forget it let's let's go and tell ava and tell warren from hr that we are together that it is official that you are my boyfriend that you are my girlfriend and they had to sign this waiver or whatever and he and they just kept going around and around and around about it throughout the episode even though everybody knew and people were like questioning them even in the meeting they were just like uh and and janine spilled the beans so that that part of the episode was hilarious um and all in all y'all this episode like i said was just basically updating us about some things going on there was also um towards the end there was a guy who came in to avid elementary basically like bribing and trying to like get jacob and melissa and barb to lay off of trying to end the construction of a golf course and he was using you know money to bribe them he was using the fact that he could get them new computers and stuff like that gave melissa a 500 dollar gift card just to kind of like i guess you could say like hush them up and just let them continue to gentrify and how it would bring about you know um more property value and more people and things like that so if they was giving him the runaround and giving him like um like basically like standing up for themselves and like we don't want you here but once he starts spewing out this money and all these promises and stuff they was just like hold up now 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 it don't sound too bad and even a was like what y'all out there doing and they was like bribing and she was just like well make sure y'all get some for me y'all know how she is um and then the uh the episode just ended with a couple of the um the teachers going in trying to um trying to get whatever whatever like uh beef they had with each other settled while uh warren the hr representative was there um and even uh mr johnson like i said with his his mess throughout the entire episode i'm thinking that he already knew about janine like everybody else did janine and greg come to find out he thinking that they selling drugs and smuggling drugs i was like he is a mess he thought that melissa was trying to hit on him y'all it was so funny y'all i am so 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 happy that this episode um was as good as it was i'm so happy that abba elementary is back um if i missed anything because i don't really want to spoil too much but I, I want everybody to, to make sure that they are continuously supporting um, Quinta Brunson and the rest of the cast um, of Abba Elementary because I feel like this show could just go on and on and on and on. And I want it to continue to be number one and continue to get all these awards and accolades and um, just all of them to continue to just grow and grow and grow. And um, I cannot wait for the rest of the season to see what is all happening um what things will come about with janine and greg and their new kind of relationship finally um finally but i'm excited though i love them um and i hope that it works out too i know like it's a show but i love the show that much i can't believe like i said this is the fourth season but it's awesome very 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 happy that um i decided to recap the show and watch the show every wednesday watch the reruns it's just like it's awesome and it's on a lot of streaming services hulu i saw it last night on max um the first three seasons i believe are hbo max um yeah y'all so 
that is going to be the end of the video i'm sorry if it's like super super fast super super quick but i just got up at work and i'm about to go home and relax um and y'all see i got my pink on so representing for us breast cancer survivors and those out there who are still in the battle with it it is our word month but every every day i am grateful for life and grateful for being here so thank you and i'm also grateful for y'all watching um and i will see y'all in the next one